of the problems with road tripping is having your arm out the window and uh, getting a little bit of sunburn. So I have to try to cover that up today. Before we hit the road, we needed to gas up for our journey through Georgia. But unfortunately, Tramp wasn't ready to hit the road just yet. Almost. After 20 minutes of trying, and one push start from John, we were on our way. This is how I'm going to combat getting sunburned on my arm today. Looks good, huh? You know, someday they're going to invent this lotion to stop that. I already got burned. But until then... First stop of the day was in Swainsboro, Georgia, crossroads of the South. Did you create that? You made that. You made yeah, this? That's number four. That's beautiful. That's some humongous tiger maple I got in it. It's all made all, out of blocks of wood. Really? It's all handmade? Oh yeah, I made that all by hand. Chisels, knives, and gouges. I'm Charlie Ashley, and I make my own fiddles, and I'm learning to play and uh, enjoying myself. And uh, right now it's a hobby. Someday down the road, uh, I get my recognition on what I make and do, and someday I hope to maybe sell some fiddles and around the world. And more than that, I really want to play and stuff. Enjoy and make inspire young people to want to play. I love it, and I think it's awesome. I never dreamed how much fun it is to make music, and it all it is is having the dexterity to want to play, and then inside your heart, and just practice. You got nobody gets good without practice. I play five hours a day. I've only been playing a few years. Wow. All right. Thank you. Our next stop in Swainsboro was Swainsboro's Antiques, run by Michael Bright, to visit his pieces of Elvis museum. Elvis and I'm a big PR. I love the PR. That's just like my music. I'm the first Christian artist to ever have uh, five songs in the top 25 at one time and two go number one over the United Kingdom. I never had a record label, never had a booking agency, never had producers. I did all my own everything. You know? So I've always been a good PR. So I wanted something to promote my business, to get people in. So I had Elvis collections. One of those things, it gets in your blood, it stays in your blood, you know, and that's the thing. Being the ultimate PR person, Michael got us interviewed about our trip by the local press. Route 1, John and I had to stop and take a look when we spotted this sign. Welcome to Santa Claus, Georgia, a city of 165 people incorporated by State Representative Thomas Fuller in 1941. John and I never figured out why this town had a Christmas theme. Well, that was the smallest town I've ever been to. Santa Claus, Georgia. Alma? Wait, how do you say it? Alma? I said Alma. 
Alma in these parts. <laughs> Alma, Georgia. <laughs> Alma, Georgia. Alma, Georgia. <laughs>